This is the Marvel Legends series Wolverine. The figure is part of the Carl Lycos, Dr. Carl Lycos, Marvel's Sauron Builder Figure series. It's not actually X Men. Um, the box is labeled as Deadpool Wave 2 for 2018. Here's the rest of the assortment, and each one carries a piece to build Sauron. Okay. Now, I was very excited when Hasbro announced they were doing this figure. I love the character of Laura as the new, all new, all different Wolverine. Um, so you can imagine my disappointment when I actually picked up this figure. It's a great sculpt, don't get me wrong. Um, it reuses a lot of the parts that we've already seen from X-23. Uh, the, from the, um, the previous wave of Marvel Legends, the X-Force X-23. Um, the Deadpool, the first Deadpool wave, I think. And um, the, the thing that really destroys this figure for me is uh, the paint apps. And from the looks of it, you can see it. It's a great sculpt. It's so accurate to the comic books. I love it. They even incorporated the uh, foot spike or the foot claw, uh, which, is, which, is, which we never got in the um, X-23 mold. And, but... Um, just to get right to the chase, uh, what I don't like about the figure is how Hasbro has never figured out how to mix blue and yellow together. And as you can see, uh, there are tons of paint quality issues, which really, really ruin this figure for me and is starting to look like a deal breaker. Look at that. And look at that. Every single figure I saw uh, from the hobby shop had this, had this, this issue. Uh, on the yellow or the blue bleeding into the yellow. Uh, some had incomplete paint of the yellow, uh, the yellow on the boot. I mean, why is it so difficult to do this? I mean, they've been doing this for years and they still haven't figured out how to make blue and yellow mix or white or, or, or red and black. I mean, is it that difficult? But on paper, look at this sculpt. It's fantastic. She's got her hair flowing. Look at this wonderful, wonderful sculpt, uh, head sculpt. Uh, they got the mask right. Uh, the head sculpt looks great. And even here, the head sculpt was not spared from quality issues. This was the best one I could find. Uh, overlapping of blue on the flesh. Uh, some of the eyes were not painted correctly. Uh, some were skewing to down or, or left, right, up. I mean... The lipstick, I got, I got lucky with this one. This one was on correctly. Uh, and the belt. The belt is a new belt. It's not like the X-23 belt. It's, a, it's her Wolverine belt, which is very accurate, very nice. But uh, the red and black, yet again, um, Hasbro just can't nail it correctly. This was the best one I could find. Uh, some of the other figures had just a dot of red here, a splash of red right there. Some had overlapping red paints here, here, and there. I mean... I mean, it's $20. Here in Manila, it's $20 to $30, $25, something like that. But um, it's a shame because I I thought that, that I, this is one of my favorite sculpts, one of my favorite molds, and they, the paint apps is, is just ruining it for me. Uh, articulation is going to be the same as the one we've gotten. Also, incidentally, she does come with the Laura Kinney head sculpt, which fits nicely on this X-23 figure. This was the original head sculpt. Uh, she also comes with Dr. Carl Lycus' Sauron's left arm with the wings. But uh, it's the same articulation as this one. And incidentally, I think they've reused the same claws, same fists. Um, you be the judge. I'm not going to talk about it too much. The same torso, uh, same shoulder, the same uh, uh, upper arm, the lower... Her, her abs, her torso looks to be the same mold. I ask my eyes are deceive, deceiving me. The, uh, even the upper torso looks the same. It's just that this one um, is making her chest look wider. This, this paint, app is, paint app is looking her chest look narrower, but I think they're the same. Um, yep, I'm, I'm, I think they're the same. The hips, the thighs are the same. Difference are the boots. This one is the Wolverine boot. Uh, does it? Yes, it, it does swivel a little bit, just like this one. And uh, same articulation. And it would have been nice if this one had this the claws. I mean, that would have made this one an absolutely perfect figure. And I wouldn't have to get this one. And 
I, pr I could probably easily get rid of this one. The reason it's very tough for me to get rid of this one is because I love the foot spike and I really liked Lara as Wolverine. And yeah. Uh, let's talk about this extra head sculpt just before we go. And you know, um, I love it that we got an unmasked version. I think it's great. Um, again, the, the head sculpt wasn't spared from the quality issues of the paint. A lot of the fi a lot of the ones I've seen had too much white on the eyes. The or or the pupils or the irises were too big that made her wide starey eyed like oh but uh, this one was the best one i could find the lipstick on this one i got lucky this one was spot on some were a little bit skewed downwards or left or, or to the right uh, but yeah i love this head sculpt and in fact i was thinking if i'm getting rid of this figure i'd probably keep the head sculpt and just keep this figure but um my main contention with this figure is just look at the hair of both uh, Wolverine, X-23 and Wolverine. The hair is like flowing. It's like she just put on some fresh conditioner, went to the parlor, uh, to the salon, and look at her hair. It's fabulous. Fabulous looking hair. Thick and flowing and all that. And then we get this. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is her downtime, downtime look. I mean, I get it. Maybe when she takes off the mask and she retires for the day, this is what her hair looks like. She just came from the bath or the shower and it's there. But I, I would have appreciated a little bit more flowing hair just to match the others. It's a nitpick, but yeah. So, I'm sorry. I'm just being honest, okay? I'm not being negative. I Like I said, I love the sculpt of, of Laura. I love the Laura Kenny figures that Hasbro has been giving us. And um, it, 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 because of my high expectations that I'm a little bit disappointed with, with, with what we're getting. And I just wish that on paper it looked great. I just wish that when they executed it, they could have spent a little more time servicing, giving service to the fans. And um, it just didn't happen with this figure. And... I'm torn whether I should keep it or, or let it go because I got a buddy who needs it. And um, I'm thinking if I should just keep this one and then keep this one. And But, you know, foot spike and all, this would have been a perfect figure had the... Um, had the 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 paint apps not ruin the figure. And like, I, oh, before I forget, the belts are different, very accurate to the comic books. It's a shame. It's really a shame. Uh, the figure is going to get a... Um, I don't know. I'm torn. and I, sh I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Um, it's not something you must have, especially for those who did not like the death of Wolverine and with, with Laura replace, uh, replacing her as the all-new, all-different Wolverine. Quite frankly, I'm very happy with her and... Um, the character and uh i'm also glad she's back as x23 because logan's back but uh yeah i think they could have done more with this figure in terms of the paint apps so it's up to you uh collect her if you like her let her go if you don't really like her so hope you've enjoyed this little video review this has been the marvel legend series from the deadpool wave 2 for 2018 laura kinney has the all new all different wolverine thanks for watching